And lastly, let's let's just do a case study on Journey. How Journey answered these four questions. Um, so this is the guy that invented Journey, Her- Herbie Herbert, one of my heroes. He's the guy that assembled Journey and is brilliant. So here's Journey. Started out as a Santana jam band, uh, early seventies. Um, and so let's let's take a run around the bases and think about how Journey answered these four questions: what they eliminated, what they raised, what they reduced, and what they created. Um, so what did they eliminate? Don Dimitri, any? Are you a Journey fan? Or, uh, I'm. I'm. I mean, that might be I, after I your time. Journey. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I love Journey. I love Journey, right. but my knowledge of catalog isn't really, to, you know, that deep to be able to have a say. I'm afraid. You yeah, know? yeah. I, I'm more okay. a, I'm, I'm more a sort of '80s, '90s forwards. I think I, the Journey is a little bit before '80s. Is it like '70s? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they started. Yeah, yeah mid, yeah, early '70s. All right. So, which factors did Journey eliminate? So, at the time, the Grateful Dead were huge. Santana was huge. It was all about twenty-minute songs and six minute solos um and journey was born into that world right um herbie herbert was the road manager for santana they were part of this universe right so so these four questions help journey become part of the future instead of part of history they could have easily just stayed back here and been a jam band that nobody's talking about today but they made some very key decisions that gave them a 50 year career that they're celebrating this year um, with our friends from Toto as well. So if you're, if they're in your neck of the woods, go check them out. There's a lot to learn there. Oh, yeah. um, all right. So what, what did they uh, eliminate? Journey eliminated the jam band 14 minute songs that were popular, right? They just, at some point they'd made a decision Again, whether intuitively or consciously in a management meeting, they said, you know what? We are going to zig and zag here. We're not going to be Grateful Dead copycat number 12. Uh, What did they reduce? Um, And again, this is hindsight. We're able to look back and really reduce this down and simplify it for the sake of, you know, their hindsight is really becoming our foresight. it's obviously for them, it was probably much more complex than this, but we're going to use them as an example. So what did they reduce? So at the time, Hammond B3 was huge, Carlos Santana, Black Magic Woman. It was the thing, right? And yeah. Greg Rowley was a great B3 player, um, but they got rid of Greg Rowley and brought in Jonathan Kane. So they reduced that component of it which factors did they raise uh they raised their vocal bar they brought in this drummer named steve perry who changed history for vocalists Mm. um which factors did they create so journey was responsible for really distilling down to a three-minute pop song approach a fan first approach as we describe it The band was primarily focused on how the fan would be able to see their own story in their music. Um, Fan first strategy centered on the audience, told the fan story, gives fans, gives fans songs that the fans could step into. The band was on stage to support the fans experience. Um, So another thing they kind of created was digestibility journey. uh, Frontman Steve Perry and Jonathan Kane focused on songs that were shorter in length. So again, the three and a half minute pop songs and people hated them for this, but all the people that hated them are broke. Right. So, you know, they kind of, they kind of won. So the combination of these things, they eliminated the jam band approach. They reduced the emphasis on the B3 by bringing in the piano and synths. They raised the vocal bar with Steve Perry and they created what we call a fan first approach just to sorry just just yeah. for those who might have who might not 
understand it fully. What is what is what does the B three stand for? B three is the organ, the Hammond organ, organ B three. Hammond organ. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So those are some of the things that help journey become part of the future instead of part of history. They could have easily just dug their heels in and said, I'm going to be a jam band and that's what I'm going to be. And, you know, I hate change and I am who I am kind of thing. Um, but they made some strategic decisions by answering these four questions of the ERC framework. So those are a few of the ways that journey kind of created a future for themselves. So that's, that's what I have for us today. And that's really mm -hmm. about becoming an original creative differentiation for artists by answering the four questions within the ERC framework. I think it's, it, it's, it, it's been a really, really useful um, overview, you know, and, uh, and, and obviously it's super important to find ways for yourself um, to stand out. Otherwise you'll just get lost in the mob and, and get lost in the hundred thousand of songs released on streaming yeah. services every single day. Yeah. You know, yeah. I remember, I remember, I remember us talking about this two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, but I feel that now it's even more important because I'm, I can't, I can't remember the exact numbers, but I, because you know, I do, I go to a lot of like uh, music industry conferences and whatnot. And I remember that, um, Early, early last year, I think the number was still like 80,000 or something like this, or even below that, yeah. 80,000 new songs dropped every day. You know, it's 100,000 now. Um, uh, you know, it's probably going to be 200,000 uh, this time next year. So yeah. um, if, you, if you don't find ways to, to, to have USPs to differentiate yourself from the others, you know, you might, you might be a great artist. You might have great songs, but you will just get lost, you know, and, yeah. and, and in, the, in, in the noise everywhere. Yeah. I think of it, a, a good friend of mine said music was going free about 10 years ago. And I was like, what is mm. he talking about? You know, why is, why is he saying that? And he was really right. Music is, is becoming a souvenir. I mean, people still yeah. pay for music. It's you know, a, we sell products every day for artists that want that souvenir. Um, but it's not enough anymore. I mean, your music has to be great. It should be great. Yeah. You don't you don't want it yeah. to suck, obviously, but it's no longer sufficient. So the way we think about it is we're we're a fan first company that stages experiences. We're a, a artist experience company. How do we build experiences that fans will pay for? Some of it's music, but some of uh -huh. it's subscriptions, some of it's, you know, live face-to-face -face stuff. Um so that's really, that's where we spend most of our time is just thinking about experiences. It's like Cirque yeah. du Soleil. It's like I, we could go to that, what was Barnum and Bailey circus that went out of business a couple of years and it's a crappy $4 circus and it's like, eh, don't want it, yeah. right? Yeah. But yeah. I'd rather pay 200 bucks to go to experience Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. I mean, you walk in there, I was fortunate to spend some time at their, um, uh, compound in in uh, montreal and you walk in there and you're like i feel like i walked into willy wonka in the chocolate factory <laughs> it's like what is going who are these nut uh -huh. jobs it was like it's it's a total experience yeah and i'm yeah, like and yeah, I feel i'll pay for that get i'll take the 50 dollar whatever you know it's yeah like, yeah and i feel i feel those artists who uh, who who understand that it's about right, that these days is about so much more than just music will be the ones who succeed. You know those who will get left behind, sadly, and who will keep in place of are those who will try to hold on. Distorts our shape. Funny how you seem to be better once again. You turn away. Don't be afraid to let me wake you up. You never get the things you want. To confound by fear to try. All your inhibitions just contaminate your mind. Let this 